Good evening, guys. Good evening, just setting up. Only be a few more minutes. Where's my team list? Now we're cooking on gas. Let's start with the random. Just getting everything set up. Randomizer. Also make sure everyone is in. Right. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hope you enjoyed the match. I'm sure we'll get into some discussion very shortly. Uh, let Let's start here. with the... <laughs> Evening, Alex, mate. West of London, massive. <laughs> Evening, Brian. <But laughs> uh, Evening, James. Evening, Matt, mate. How are you? Let me just... Great game. It was... I thought it was a really good game. Um, not how I expected it to be. I did think there were going to be more goals, especially from the first 10, 15 minutes. There was just, it just seemed to be so much space. Um, let me type people again. The way... Um, people excellent uh yeah the way the way the way the, the the game was i just thought there was going to be so much space i thought there was going to be a lot more goals than what they were so that was uh interesting here he is mason mount mount hi <laughs> sabas mate you okay two sides allowed to play yes yeah D yeah um that's another thing weren't that referee like amazing that referee was absolutely spot on and it's very very rare i um, praise referees, but he was he was spot on. It was he Spanish, so I'm guessing he's La, La Liga manager, uh, La Liga manager, La Liga referee. But uh, whoever he was, he's um, he was it was quality. Yeah, the ref was oh was he? Oh. I, I love it when I see actual emotion. It just makes it real. Um, you know, they do a job, and it's probably the best time of their you know careers so yeah well the first time i've seen that referee so i'm guessing the first champions league final he's had um well played to him and uh, and obviously his team right i'll leave it just one more minute just get a few more people in is the cracked ice have a shoe pull for me? <laughs> yeah. i know right mate do you know what's annoyed what's annoyed me two things is um Roman from Golden Goal Breaks uh, had done a giveaway where he was giving away a, an, a case of impeccable. If you guess the correct score and no, sorry, if you guess the correct player and um, the minute they scored in, um, I had Averts dinner, but I had him in the 85th. And someone, someone correct. Well, so I think it's Havert scored in the 43rd, but he guessed the. 44th and he was the closest person by far so he's got a case in Pepple. so that's number one the second thing that's annoyed me is i actually was going to start um because i'm looking in now into players who i think are going to be good at the, like at the end of next year or going to become 
a better play next year. So more of a long ish, a longer term investment. Not so nothing like I'm going to buy now and sell in two months. Like I'm looking to 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 buy a player, um, do a collection of the player, some you know autos, rare cards, blah 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 blah. And we were in a period where the market's a bit down at the moment. So I was like, oh, who can I invest in? And then I was like, right, I'm going to do Havertz. And we weren't even thinking about today's game. I was just like, Havertz, he's, I think he will come good. I think he's under a good manager. And I think Chelsea are going to improve. They're going to do better. So I think he's going to be a really good investment. And then obviously ending World Cup 2022, I think, yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be a really good one. And then he's, he's gone and scored today and scored the winner. And his prices are going to get that little spike, I am sure. Um, so that was a bit annoying, but hey hill. Um, we move on. Anyway, right, excellent. Looks like we've got enough people in. So let's get this random started. So uh, this is break number, I'm not even sure, uh, but it's an EPL prism. We've got four cereal boxes um, and one breakaway. Hopefully the breakaway might have a... Uh, kaboom, it might have, we, we've got 50% chance of it being an auto, which will be pretty cool. Um, 190 cards in total. Um, obviously, it's premiership, so it's all premiership teams, uh, 20 spots. Thank you, everyone, for filling. Thank you, for Patrick, for, for buying 10 spaces. That was amazing. It was a quick fill. Uh, really wanted to break tonight. Shame we didn't get impeccable fills, but there we go. Uh, right, so is it on screen? Yes, it is. Right, so we're going to random the teams. 11 times on the random. We'll give it a few minutes. Why have I done that? We'll give it a few minutes uh, just in case anyone wants a quick trade. And then we'll get breaking as soon as possible. So there we go. So we've got all 20 teams. And now we're going to go... Yeah, Alex, what a win. What a win. Fair play to Chelsea. Fair play to him. Um, not a not a Chelsea fan at all, but you know, uh, credit where credit's due, they were set up right. The play Reese James was phenomenal, I thought. I thought he was the best player on the pitch. Uh Kante was amazing as well. Um Christensen, who I don't like, did really well. Right, eleven times on the run, and let's get going anyway, guys. So when does that why I can't see the time? Oh, there we go. Two. 11 times on the random. 10. Good luck, everyone. Don't know who's who. Don't know where's where. There we go. Ian with Arsenal. Very nice. Who else we got? Patrick with Man United. Very nice. Kind of the two top ones after that. Who's got Chelsea? Ryan. Ryan's got Chelsea. So his cards might get a bit of a spike <laughs> if he puts them on straight away. So nice one, Ryan. Uh, you probably will as well. If you, if you pull anything nice, I'd, I'd just chuck it on eBay straight away or put it in a group because uh, you'll have that Champions League mini boost from it, I'm sure. West Ham for trade. Sam's trading West Ham. Got Declan Rice, West Ham. Who else we got in West Ham? Who's decent? Mikel Antonio, a decent player. West Brom up for trade, anyone? I like West Brom. I've actually, um, I'm actually buying a um, Mateus Pereira one of one from Impeccable. So if anyone's got any other variations of that, I think I've got the 99 and I may have one more. I can't remember. But if you've got the 5 and the 10, let me know. Might have a, might do a deal for you. But I like West Brom. I think have got a few good players. Dean Garner, he's a good player as well. Liverpool for Arsenal. So that's Stuart for Ian. Interesting one there. Two big teams. So, yeah, so in these, so as well, um, just while we're waiting for everyone, if anyone does want a personal cereal box, can do these for 40 quid. Um, and I can either ship it. Uh, actually, let me just make this a little bit bigger for you guys, first and foremost. 
So you can see, where, where am I going? Dual screen action here, trying to get all 20. It's all 20 on there. No, it's got 150. There we go. So, yeah. So, if you want uh, a personal uh, little series, about 25, um, 25 cards, um, you can do it for 40 quid. Per serial, so I can have it open on live or I can ship it to you. Uh, and I'll include shipping as well. Free shipping just for tonight. Free shipping if you want one sent to you, 40 quid. Yeah, that's just a really good deal. I think they're about I think they're about that. Might be a bit more expensive. We've got some other stuff. Like I said, we've got quite a bit of um let me just put these to the side. These are what we're breaking tonight. One, two, three. Hopefully they're still on camera. Four, we've got four there. Breaking that. Got two Bundesliga boxes. We've got an MLS box. We've got, ooh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm breaking these yet, but we've got the Merlin 95s. I might break, I'll break, I might break one. Um, this is enough interest. We might be able to do something else tonight, but I would doubt it. Any takers for West Ham? I have. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. I forgot Sam's got a few. He's got the you got the kaboom, aren't you, mate? Anyone for West Ham? I'll stick with Arsenal, mate. Sorry. Any takers? Right, we'll give it another sixty seconds, and then we'll just get to breaking, guys. We'll get straight into it. What else have I got? Oh, got a few other things coming. Got a front of the line coming, just for anyone who's interested. I'm probably going to do something where it's a monster, monster break. So we'll do like, if I don't do these in some other type break, it'll be like a museum, a heritage, first of the line, um, a Bundesliga, and we'll just chuck a few hundred cards in there. But there's like... You know, six, seven, eight autos. Um, so that'll be fun. So, yeah, we'll, do, we'll probably do something with that. We've got a few other things coming as well. So, yeah. Right, we'll just give this another 30 seconds and then we'll just get to breaking. I am absolutely boiling in this room. I felt so sorry for Kevin De Bruyne. He's my favourite player that hands down I just think he's one of the the best player in the world um and I'll argue with anyone so bring it on actually let me take that back obviously there's Messi and Ronaldo but still I think De Bruyne it is age I asked actually a question now who's going to win the Ballon d'Or who do you think is going to win the Ballon d'Or I think he he'd had to win the Ballon d'Or to win um, win the Champions League to win the Ballon d'Or. So now is it Lewandowski? We're saying Lewandowski is going to win it. What do we think? I'd have taken West Ham, but I'm not in. Nah. I don't know, Sam. Do you want to sell? Do you want to be in it? Do you want to sell? You can sell it. I don't mind. Up to you. Your spot. However, you want to uh, placate it, mate. Placate? I don't know if that's the right word. But yeah, I think in Lewandowski is probably. Probably. I'm trying to think if anyone at Chelsea is worth um, Ballon d'Or. I don't think they'd give it to Kante. And none of the forwards have been. None of the forwards have been outstanding. They've just, they've just played really well as a team, I think. And obviously going to give it to a defender, not going to give it to Mendy. So then you're going back to the usual suspects. Um, Messi, to be fair, Messi's had a phenomenal season. I think he's like top of the La Liga goal scoring charts by about nine goals. And um, he's been relatively quiet. Right. That looks like it's it. So we are going to close this down and I'll leave it up somehow. What am I doing? What am I doing? 
stop sharing screen. And those are your teams. So if anyone needs a reminder of the teams, just let me know. And I'll let you know, but I'm closing this off now. Enter full screen. Stop sharing screen. And there we go. Let's get let's get to breaking. So no trades. We'll start with these, obviously. I'm in a bit of a weird setup here. Let me try and give me give me a minute, guys. I need space. Space. Blinding me, but as long as you guys can see, that's all that matters. Right, we're going with the break. Let me pull this back a bit. Let me make it a little bit taller. And we are good to go. Get some penny sleeves ready. Anyone catch my uh, live on uh, on Thursday? That was amazing. If I'm if I'm, I'm going to be totally honest. Talking about all things hobby related. Miss the teams. Who did I get? Fulham Sheffield. <laughs> who did you get? You got my friend. You got Everton and Chelsea. So Chelsea, I was I was just saying before. Uh Chelsea's probably the ones you want, one of the ones you want in this break because if you get a decent hand, you'll be able to sell him straight away. Especially if it's Kai Havertz. I know Sebas is waiting to sell his Kai Havertz now. Might as well. Right. You always go live at bad times. This is a, I never go this late. Like this is the latest I've ever broken, I think. Definitely. I'm usually mine's usually seven till eight. But now that I've got more products, if I can do it at different times of the day, because I know I've got, there's a few people from Singapore who buys into the breaks as well, and obviously this is not a great time for them. Um, so I will try and mix it up where I, where I can, where I can. All right. First one. Here we go. Here we go, uh... Oh, sorry. I get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. Get, get, get. Yes. Um, yeah. I need to. I need to try and like. I don't really know because I, I don't use. I, I don't use, and I don't. I'm not really a major fan of Instagram. So like, I don't know what's it. You know, when's a good time? I don't really know what to do. To be honest, I just try absolute crap, mate. When's next, Domrus? Th that's a good question. Um, actually, Domrus prices are a bit. A bit different, a bit weird. Oh, we've got silver. Oh, no, we get obviously we get silver in this. Uh, Domrus prices are a bit um, up and down at the moment. And obviously, there's some Domrus in, or there's a rated rookies in the new Chronicles. There's Chronicles to come out. There's UEFA Champions League. There's then the Euro, the Euro Mosaic coming out. So there's just this, there's just so many new releases. It's hard to get the things in that people want. Like, I'd love Donruss. I'd, I'd break at least one Donruss a week if I could, because I, lo I, I love it. Um, well, here we go. Let's let's start this. Let's get under underway. Um, so we've got Callum Wilson for Newcastle. Even Cavalero for Fulham. Sadio Mane for Liverpool. <laughs> here we go. Clean sheet. 
Edward Mendy for Chelsea, rookie card. Obviously, it's just the base, but um, Sunday morning is actually a good idea. Mate, I know. I mate, I I'm I'm wanna get I wanna work up to get a hobby box. I wanna get a hobby box. I prefer I'm kind of kicking myself now that I got the impeccable. Um because it was just you know it's the the hot product when I could have got a Domrus hobby and I didn't and it did I would have enjoyed it more. Um, but I'm definitely hundred percent get more Domrus because it's my favorite product. So Edward Mendy, so nice one for uh, nice one to write in there. I'll just leave that up in a sec. Uh, John Joe Selby for Newcastle. Dennis Adoy for Fulham. Dale Stevens for Burnley. Paul Pogba for Manchester United. Uh, Luka Milivojevic for Crystal Palace. We've got Ben Osborne, rookie, for Sheffield United. Nathan Redmond for Southampton. Danny Ceballos for Arsenal. I hope he goes back to Real Madrid and does not come back. Danny Ceballos for Arsenal. Oh, nice. All right, fair enough. Phil Foden, base. Probably... Um, I don't know. I actually don't know how much these are. Maybe maybe a tenner. So you're a good way of paying for your spot, whoever's got City. Oh, Stuart. Nice one, Stuart. I'm sure Stuart would be happy with that, actually. Nice one. Leander Dendonka for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Scott, my man, hello. How are you, sir? Wait, Stuart, have you got Liverpool and... Manchester City, wow, well, you had a you had a decent one there. Uh Luke Ayling for Leeds United. Tottenham Hotspurs, Harry Winks. Isn't it great seeing the capitulation of uh Spurs? Allen for Everton. David Proper for Brighton. <laughs> Dennis Pratt for Leicester. I wonder if that's ever going to come because I know the um, I know any second league's not not brilliant like as any apart from the championship. I can't think of any big second league, um, but there's the, the enough following in the championship. They're always on TV as well. Jared Bowen for West Ham. Like, maybe not. Oh, oh, this is nice. Who's got Southampton? Rob Plester. Oh, Rob Plester, I would like that. Liverpool fan. Nice one. Get that sleeved up as well. Then we've got onto our parallels and insert. We've got Aaron Ramsdale for Sheffield United. Could be in... Um, could not never know, might get a game for England this year. I'm surprised. He got in over Pope, but there we go. Brandon Pierrick for Crystal Palace. It's actually Jeffrey Schlup. Nice red on red, though. Reese Nelson for Arsenal. He's got to go on loan next season for me. To a premiership club, not abroad. Right, Reese Nelson for Arsenal. <laughs> and nice, an emergent for Kayo Tamori for Chelsea. I got a few cards there. Let me just sleeve these up. Glad tonight has <laughs> decided tonight. Phone. Oh, nice one. <laughs> well, he's, he can start his mini collection now. <laughs> For me, Foden could have done a bit more, but still, seeing him on the ball, um, he's just so confident um, on the ball. I, he's he's going to be big for England this year, this um, this tournament. Really, really rate him. Um, I think he needed that De Bruyne just to give him that little bit of a boost and help him out because the ball was coming to him a lot, but he just he couldn't penetrate really. 
which was frustrating. Did Fulham get relegated? Mr. McCann assured me uh, they would stay up four months ago. <laughs> Banter, I love it. What are the uh, chances next season, Bry? Straight back up. You have to have a mass exodus of players. You've got enough money to not having to sell. Because Luckman surely must be um, one of the ones that premiership teams are going to be look at him, uh, uh, looking at him. I, I rate him highly, me. The keeper as well, forgot the name, but Ariola. He was decent. Sleeving some of these up. Save me a job later. Full in the next Sunderland. <laughs> Brian's not going to like that. They um was it the they didn't get to the final, did they? Was it the um they get knocked out in the playoffs? Sunderland. And who was it against? Was it I'm trying to think who I'm trying to think who um who they were playing against. Because I watched I think I watched the game. Um and I, I can't remember I can't remember the team they were playing against. They seemed to be dominating anyway. But then they lost, so Oh, and well done, Brentford. Don't know if we have any Bees fans here, but well done, Brentford. If we do. They've been trying for a good few years. And been close. Lincoln, thank you, mate. Fuck Brentford. <laughs> Rivals. Um, Jamie Shackleton, Leeds, rookie. Connor Gallagher, West Brom. Nice one. Um, this is the one I keep forgetting which one. Is he the one on loan from Chelsea? Can never remember. Connor Gallagher. Hakim Ziyech. Oh, I forgot about Ziyech. Uh, Hakim Ziyech for Chelsea. Courtney House for Aston Villa. The big man, Alexander Mitrovic for Fulham. Dara O'Shea for West Brom. In Brentford, we trust. <laughs> Stop glorying the glory. <laughs> Cronky out. Cronky definitely out, mate. Uh, Dean Henderson, Manchester United. Kronke, definitely out. Um, I've heard that there's a, is it a new two, two, is it 2 billion, 2.5 billion bid from um, um, Eck uh, and the consortium or whatever. Rodrigo for Man City. My only fear is they get rid of Arteta. And I really, I'm an Arteta fan. I'm, I'm Arteta. I think he needs time. Um Johan berg munson for Burnley. I think he needs time. I think he needs another season. I need. I think we need to get rid of the waste. But I think if Ek does come in, then one of the things that will happen is Arteta will move and they'll put Henri or Vieira in the manager position. And that's why they've kind of connected themselves to it. Marcus Rashford for Manchester United. But let's see. Lise Moussa for Sheffield United. Cronky, mate. <laughs> He's a legend. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. Don't remind me, mate. He did bring a shaka. Oriol, uh, Oriol, Ariol Romeo for Southampton. Pierre Emerico Bamiyang uh, for Arsenal. I saw, I saw, um, I have no idea where I saw it. It was um, like a Telegraph or a Writers Award or like Team of the Year. And Jacques, Jacques was in there. And I was like, I've watched every Arsenal game. And there's nothing... Xhaka has one game in about six. 
for me. Uh, sorry, no. Let me let me rephrase that. Zaka doesn't do anything wrong one game in six, and he'll just he'll just play normal. Doesn't do anything outstanding. He is okay. He's just not Arsenal standard. But he was in like a team writers uh, a writers team of the year or something like that. And I was like, of the centre midfields that have been dominating this year. He was the pick, or one of the picks. It was uh, two. Uh, Manuel Lanzini for West Ham. Pedro Neto for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now, nah, if I'm Arteta, it needs to go blood. Oh, oh AF, AFTV. I, oh, I hate AFTV. Lucas Dean for Everton. And, yeah, them all. I just, yeah. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Matthew Ryan for Brighton. Kagla Sayunchu for Leicester. Lucas Fabianski for West Ham. Connor Cody for Wolverhampton. Coming up to our silver. Oh, it's red. It's red. It's Arsenal. Could it be a sucker? Ah. Lacazette. Birthday boy. Oh, is it birthday yesterday? It might have been a birthday yesterday. Um, Alexandra Lacazette, silver. That's not too bad, to be fair. I'd probably, well, being an Arsenal fan, I'd put that in my collection for sure. Don't know how much it's worth, though. 10, 20 quid. Let me get that sleeved up. Ooh, it's a nice Rashford, though. I didn't even know. Sheffield United appointed someone. Jocko, was he um was he in charge of Brentford at one point? He was in charge of Fulham, wasn't he? Um Marcus Rashford. Blue Pulsar. It's quite nice. Let's leave that up. Andros Townsend. Blue Pulsar. Eric Garcia. Red Pulsar. And burnt Leno. Fireworks insert. This reference nice. Casually just having a chat with President Barack Obama the other day, as you do. Uh, let's just get one of this. Nicest one I think we've ever got. So far, see, this is this is where um, Sheffield United did a saw this two days ago. Ah, uh, old, yeah. See, it's not the reason why he looks so passionate for me is because did no one else is passionate. He's not good enough for Arsenal Football Club. Like, you should be able to get someone who's passionate about playing the sport that they should love to play and should be proud to play for a club like Arsenal. That should be a given. It shouldn't be, he's got commitment. He's not He's not good enough to wear, he's not good, sorry, not, not that he's not good enough to wear his shirt. He is a character and he, you can tell he, like, mentally, he's mentally strong. Like, I'm not denying that at all. Like he is a quality player in terms of the like camaraderie he gives. You can you can tell that you can tell the players love him, but that's not going to win you. The, that's not going to win you the league. You, having eleven of him in respected positions is not going to win you the league. We need players who have passion but also have the quality. We've lacked that quality for so long now. Um, and I'm I'm sick and tired of not having quality players. You can tell the quality players. Look at Tierney. Tierney's got the passion. Tierney's got the, uh, but he's also got the skill to back it up. We need a, if we had eleven of him, I could agree with that argument. But having eleven Jackers, I, ca I can't agree with that because I just don't think he's got the the maybe as a maybe as a squad player. Maybe have him as a squad player, but not as a starting eleven for Arsenal. If you're if your aim is to be in the Champions League, if your aim is to be, um, aim is to be in the Champions League, aim is to be in the uh, a, a Premiership, a Premier League title winner, he's he's just not he's just not there for me. 
Um, yeah, that's that for me. I think. But I see where you're coming from in terms of the 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 commitment. He's committed. Like I've, I don't know many people who've been booed at, uh, spat at, you know, abused online, and then still try and give your all. It's just that his all's not good. But that's the thing. A lot of people want. A lot of people wanted him. Um, Pep wanted him. At, um, Man City. But I think if you go on his performances over the last, as how long has he been with us now? Is it four years? There's not been one season where he's been out. Not even. Not even outstanding. It's just been okay. Every. No. 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 He's been either below par or okay, and that's kind of it. Like I said, as a squad player, I could maybe get on board with him staying. But as a player to help us win the league, or well, help us getting back in the top four first, no, nah, we need better. We need better. Callum, Callum Robinson. To see, I'm getting in there. Me and, me and Stuart are going to have a one to one about Arsenal now. <laughs> I'm forgetting about the break. Sorry, guys. Tom Kearney for Fulham. Naby Keita for Liverpool. Rodrigo Moreno for Leeds. Kyle Edwards. Nice. He's a good player. Kyle Edwards for West Brom. Tammy Abraham for Chelsea. Marvellous. Nakamba for Aston Villa. Edison for Manchester City. Charlie Taylor for Burnley. Scott McTominay for Manchester United. And exactly, Matt, that's that's the other thing, is like you can pretty much guarantee he'll get booked, which means he has to play more cautiously. You shouldn't, like almost every other game, and you shouldn't have that, like, if he's too passionate and he's too driven, but he's, he's for me, it's not that. It's more that he's just a, he's a second too late in thinking. If he was in the, I could tell, I could see he would be quality if he was in Serie A. He would he would look a lot better because it's a slower pace league. But the quickness, he takes an extra touch every time when he doesn't need to. And if he didn't have that, and that's him being slower in his mind, in his playing ability, in his mind, mental ability, he's not. He, he doesn't think quickly enough. Uh, Tyreek Mitchell for Palace, decent left back. Oliver Norwood for Sheffield United. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, I, I might. I, I've just got so much to to flip and try and do in terms of the breaks website. I wanted to do this fantasy thing. If I do it, it will be within the next week. It will be by the end of this week if I if I manage to do it. If if I if I don't manage to do the idea that I'm doing, I'll I will think of like a simplified version. If not, it'll just be a sweepstake. Uh, we'll do a random, everyone puts in 20, 25 quid. Um, and yeah, just random the teams and I'll, I'll figure some out, try and figure some prizes out. But what basically what I wanted to do was, it was like a uh, fantasy thing. So you'd pick three players um, or three or five players. I can't, like I said, I'm, I was, I'm debating a few things. But picking five players, uh, but keeping it really simple. Um, and you just, uh, you'd only get one star player. Uh, and then you'd play each other. So we'd have people play each other in the group. Um, uh, each team play each other. And then something like you'd you'd then be able to buy one of their players or trade one of their with their players if you won, stuff like that. So I've got I had a few ideas in mind which I just wanted to make the Euros fun for everyone and uh, well, well definitely for our group. Um, but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do what I want to do. So I, I will do something. I'm, I'm gonna do a few things for the Euros. Uh, but what we'll see so eyes peeled and uh, just watch what happens next week I will do something but I just don't know what that will be yet Jack Stevens for Southampton Ben White for Brighton and Hove Albion uh, James Madison for Leicester yeah I mean that, that, that's another thing like, I'd, I know if, I know a few people I'd, 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 I'd try, I try not to do what everyone else is doing uh, I try and be a little bit different. Um, 
But if it comes down to it, we could do so. I, I do, yeah, like I said, I just like to do stuff for our group. So if if it ends up being uh, just like a, a dream team or telegraph team, yeah, we can end up doing that. And I, I'm, I'm I'm more than happy to set something up. I will definitely have done something. Um, be definitely before the start of the Euros and give everyone enough notice. But what I'm just I'm just trying to think of, and it's also like me managing because even with last man standing, that was a simple thing. And sometimes I forget to ask people. Uh, the teams, uh, uh, Issa Diop for West Ham, Vitinha for Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, Liam Cooper for Leeds. No, no, it's, I need to remind, like, I, I want to do uh, Matt Doherty for Tottenham. I, re I really, really want to do it because I like my idea. My, one of the ideas that I had was everyone sending, like, even if it was just base cards, um, of like the players, so you could have Cristiano Ronaldo. If uh, uh, basically the the initial idea was is that you'd have uh, everyone would go through their own collection, send me the cards of let's say five players, base or, or whatever you wanted to send me in, send in, and then the player, like I said, if you then played someone else within the group, they'd win your cards. So like, you know, just some, just something fun, but trying to mix fantasy with sports cards, with um, the Euros coming on. Uh, so that, yeah. So that was, I was, that was like the, 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 the beginnings of an idea. So if I can try and figure out something in time, I will. Um, because yeah, it's one. Why not? Andre Gomez for Everton. And the great man himself. Fernandinho, that's actually a really nice card. Uh, Fernandinho, Silver. Silver's a hard to hit, so. You hold one is Aldo admin. We'll talk, we'll talk, mate. Fernando, Manchester City. We'll definitely talk. I think um, if I were to do were to do something, I'd definitely uh, need some help with it. Kagla Soyuncu for Leicester. But well, I think, what, what day are we on? I've had, I actually just had my, um, not just uh, earlier, I had my... Astra Zeneca. Um, so I may not be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I may not be fully with it tomorrow, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely link in, mate, see what we can do. We'll just um, butt heads, see what we can uh, figure out. Uh, Kagla Sayunchu for Leicester City. What's that? Pink Pulsar. Jared Bowen for West Ham. Rookie card. Uh, Red Pulsar. And Douglas Luis Aston Villa. If you need a hand, shout up. Oh, cheers, Stuart, mate. Definitely. Um, yeah, it, 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 it will. I'll, I'll be honest, it will really help having um, some people running because I, I just, unfortunately, sometimes I just don't have the time to 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 do it all. But it's it's a fantastic idea. And like I said, I want to run something all the way through the Euro so people, uh, so we're basically just, you know, having a laugh all, all throughout the Euro and, and having something to, to, um, you know, just to add to the occasion, really. But I'll um, I'll I'll link in with you guys after, and if I'm not linking in with you by Monday, um, because hopefully I've not killed over or grown an extra arm, uh, grown an extra arm, um, just message me because, some, like I said, sometimes I just forget things, and um, so just give me a message, and uh, yeah, we'll have it, we'll have a chat. Help you in a database first. Hit. Oh, look at the community coming together. This is what I, this is why I want to do something. You guys are amazing. Um, right, cool. Well, what I'll do instead then is is I'll send you guys a message with what my idea, my initial idea was, and if we can work a way to do it, then then we'll do it. And obviously, I'll. Um, I, I don't expect anything for free at all. I would, you know, do something to just thank you um, for your time and effort as, as well. I'm, I'm never a person that I, I take things for free. Um, so Nico Williams for Liverpool. But yes, we'll definitely link in, guys. Uh, thank you. Nico Williams. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah, Brian, I really, yeah. It was, I've had it for months as well, the idea of, of just kind of yeah everyone having you know, just base cards nothing nothing too um like uh, nothing too valuable or rare but just something to you know everyone sends in me their base cards of five players that they have in their own collection from the euros um for for, for the euros teams 
and then each team plays each other. So I'll play the first week. I'll play James week, and if I've got you know Harry Kane, I've got obviously you can only then have like one star player or something like that, and then you get a point if they scored, point for an assist, and a point for a clean sheet. So keeping it really simple, and then uh, obviously add points together, but. It, if to do it as a head-to-head -head, rather than doing it as a point system, it'll take a lot more effort on my end to, you know, to to tally up the scores. It, it should be relatively easy, but in terms of then matching up who's got who, uh, who's playing who, kind of thing, um, it'll, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit more effort to do that. So I was like, do I have the time? I want to do it right. I don't want to do something half-assed and and um, everyone, you know, be really into it and then me me mess up. So, yes, we will um, definitely have chats, guys. Ezra Consa for Aston Villa. And sorry, I am uh, for the other people in there. I'm just going off on a tangent. Uh, Emil Kraft for Newcastle. Hi, Robert, mate. Um, the boxes you open, are they, are there actual sets of cards as in 1 to 50 or whatever, being the wrong side of a 6 and collecting football cards for years in sets. Ah, right, okay. So just to pause quickly then. So this is a this is the, the, the Panini Prism set, which is a base set of 300. Um, I think, uh, well, obviously, the, the 20 Premiership teams each have 15 players or whatever adds up to uh, 300. Now... With the product, there's then different products with this. So we've got the cereal box, which are these ones. Um, and they all have, you know, they're all bells and whistles or, or something exclusive. So this one has blue, red, or pink pulsars. We've then got this, which we're opening next, which is the uh, breakaway box, which has another exclusive. You also can get an autograph in this. And then they have the hobby box, which is this which you should be guaranteed an auto in there uh, this is obviously uh, the biggest one to do there's 12 cards 12 packs 12 cards so it's 144 total in that there's and it's obviously then it's the most expensive one there's then the breakaway there's also other versions of it as well um, there's a one what's only got i think seven cards in i forget the name but that's an expensive one. Is it called Select? I can't. I can't remember what it's called. Um, this is probably the, this is the cheapest one. Um, they were go. They were selling on Panini's own website for fifty quid. Uh, but they obviously they sold out, and, and now I think I think they're selling between between four and sixty in where it depends on. Where. But sorry to hear your original question, mate. It's a base set of three hundred. Um, so. Of with these, you're not. If you did buy into this break, there's a there's a chance that you you might not get a card from this. Um, hopefully, with us breaking up four cereal boxes, everyone should get at least one card. Um, but yeah, it's not like the on demand uh, Champions League is it or Champions League on demand, which is you in the box. I think you get the whole base set, and then you might get you'll get an auto, which is. Actually, I don't know if you know what's guaranteed in it. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's not like one of those sets where it's you get everything together, mate. It's uh, Euro. Yeah, that's another one. Thanks, Brian. Uh, thanks, James. Um, so yeah, there's the inserts as well. So there's many the, the, with the Premiership with the with the Panini Prism. It's a collect. I would say it's a collector's nightmare. And James will James will back me up on this. Brian will back me up on this. If you're a collector and just a collector. Collecting something like Panini Premier League will be very difficult because there's so many different versions of the card. Um, so if you are, if you did want to collect it and you want to collect the the, the base set of three hundred, is probably is easy enough because prices are starting to come down on on them. It'll take you a while if you just obviously buying source buying and sourcing from eBay maybe. But if you were then to try and collect all the variations of it, all the parallels. Um, the like these ones, all the different parallels. It'll take you a lifetime to do it. Um, so yeah, as a, as a collector, it's it's probably one I personally I'd stay away from, um, unless you were just collecting, you know, one player or one set. Four there, four red variations. I've counted alone up to yeah, got to be six hundred cards for each team. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, it's a really big and it's it's like even compared to last year, um, it's it's massive. 
last year's one. Uh, so, uh, I, I, so I hope that answered your question, Robert, mate. Um, Michael Hector for Fulham. If not, there's, yeah, just shout up. There's um, enough knowledgeable people in the chat, and uh, that'll help. Uh, Fabinho for Liverpool. Held Acosta for Leeds. Jake Livermore for West Brom. Edison for Manchester City. Reese Nelson base. Uh, a Merrick Laporte for Manchester City. Ashley Westwood for Burnley. Hector Bellerin for Arsenal. Tom Davies for Everton. Nice rookie year. Tariq Lamptey for Brighton and Hove Albion. I hit his um, an impeccable. I hit his on court on card auto uh, rookie card, which is I really liked. It's one I was after, to be fair. Wilfred Ndidi for Leicester. Thomas Suchek for West Ham. Coming up to our silver. What we got? Manchester City. The full folding would be nice. Ilke Gundogan. Oh, no, it's not the silver. Uh, Romain, oh, Romain Seyth for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Ilkay Gundogan for Manchester City. Fulham, we've got Niskins Cabano. Silver, which is nice. I do, I just do, I don't like the silver cards or prism cards or refractors or whatever you call them. Um, I'll sleeve that one up. Uh, Antonio Rudiger for Chelsea. That's nice. The blue on blue looks really nice on this. Probably not show as much up on screen, but that's a really good one. So I'm going to sleeve that one up as well. Um, Imali, um, Emiliano Martinez for Aston Villa. Blue Pulsar. Callum Robinson for West Brom. And Jordan AU Scorers Club. So this is one of the inserts. I have 300 plus base uh, prison variations for 1924 Man United, and that was easier than this year's. Hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Gosh. Where's my sleeves gone? I'll do that. Some people I know completed their team's lines. Jesus Christ. I just think it's just such a massive base set. Like it's. I suppose it's I, uh, okay. I I, I I suppose as a collector, it's nice then to have you know something to achieve. Like it's big. I suppose the difference is if it was something that was affordable, and the prices to enter breaks, and where you get chances of getting you know just your own team, and you can break multiple boxes. I I then get it, and I think oh yeah, that's nice because you know you want a big collection. You don't want like just a collection of ten cards. You want um. A worthwhile collection, but mix the massive collection with the expensive prices uh, that are charged, and I just think it's—I just think it's unfair to. The, in my opinion, I just think it's unfair to the collector. Speaking as I break this, but <laughs> I do try to break as fairly as possible. Um, right. Oh, so we're done. All right. Okay. So, right onto the breakaway. So that's because, like, I was even thinking, oh, should I just do a the cereal boxes on their own and, and nothing else? But it's like, you know, there's not really a chance of getting anything decent in them. So I don't just want to do it just for the sake of doing it. I mean, some people like collecting them. The silvers are nice. At least you guaranteed one silver, which is good. Um, but when I do stuff like that, like over the next few weeks, I'll start, I'm just going to start mixing products because my thing is more on trying to give everyone a fair chance, which is why I like random more than PYT. I know people like PYT because, again, they have their own collections. They've got people they want to invest in. But I, I just, I'm just not a fan of, you know, one person always being, whether they've got a bot or not, always being the person to get the one, to one team and then you're left with, five, six teams that no one wants kind of thing to sell. So at least with the randoms, there's a bit of variety. You've got a chance of getting 
Man United, you've got a chance that you, you might have a chance of getting, or you might end up with Sheffield United. So I don't know. I don't know. What? Well, who do I? Who am I to decide? You should, I don't know if you have, uh, but you should read, um, you should read James's blog uh, and, and don't feel, don't, um, Feel free to put a link to your blog in, James, because he's a he's a collector and he's um, uh, obviously I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but he has you know similar sort of viewpoint uh, just in terms of the hobby. Uh, but he's written a really good uh, blog on on it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, feel free, James, to to drop that in if you want, mate. But me, like I'm not gonna like I can't sit here, Robert, and say you know, oh yeah, right. You know, I I, I understand because I'm I'm new to it myself. It was it was something that I didn't really know about until uh, maybe eighteen months ago. I didn't know this was a thing. I wish I did because uh, I would have definitely been involved in it. But it, it's just something that's um, it was it was new to me. But I can I can understand and respect people who have been in it longer who are used to a certain way of collecting, and and it's just it's massively different now. Uh, I am. I do both. You know, I like to invest in cards, but um, I, I do have my own collection. And I say that because this is my PC here. I am a Richarlison collector. So this is nice. I've got a few of these. Uh, Richarlison for Everton. You ain't fooling in her. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that I was like Sheffield United. Who can I? Say? I was like, bro. I was like, rise in the chat. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say Fulham. <laughs> well, thanks, mate. Um, Stephen Alzar. If uh, uh, oh, we've got a numbered one. Oh, nice. Um, Stephen Al. Oh, Stephen Alzar for uh, Brighton. Oh, Copper for Everton. Nice. These are number two. Is Copper twenty five? Oh, nice. Ryan, there you go, mate. That's a decent one. Ah, oh, cool. I know a Richard, I know a um, James Rodriguez collector. So nice short print. First pack. Cool. How weird. I know, I know. <laughs> Um, and and it's just so random. The reason why, like, I started collecting them. I just really, I just liked him as a player. Liked him at Watford. I've actually got. I don't know if you've got any um, of his Watford cards, James. But I've got. I've been collecting his. Um, do you know the tops ones that he has? Uh, and I've got a few of his variations. I need to actually check what which ones have got which parallels that they actually did of him because I've got a few, but I've not um, like looked to see. Uh, how many parallels of the tops that he had at that point? But they're they're nice cards. Um, Miguel Almiron for Newcastle. Will Smallbone for Southampton. Where is Justin? I know. Yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah, no offence at all, uh, Robert. But yeah, linking with James, I think you'd like the article. Um, it puts it uh, well. Yeah, you'll 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 find out when you read it. But it's a really good article of of someone who is a collector. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, Jared Bowen for West Ham. What have we got here? Oh, we got something else here. Yeah. Wait, let me. I'll just pull it out. Uh, Jared Bowen, rookie. Uh, Ruben Neves for Wolverhampton. And I don't know what these are. These might be 199. Oh, 99. Nice. 99. Michi Butchwai for Chelsea. Ept for Crystal Palace. Uh, I didn't play for Chelsea. Uh, Mason Mount for Chelsea. Base. And Luka Milivojevic for Crystal Palace. Milivojevic, I think, is my like, favorite name to say. Milivojevic. Got Premier Gold, 50 Chrome, 50 Platinum. Is that the tops ones? I need to I need to like sort my collection. It's just basically in a shoebox at the moment. I need to go through my my um Richardson and see what I need. 
I don't know if I told you, James, but I got a. Uh, I sent my kaboom. I've got. A, well, I actually got. I've got three. I think I might have three kaboom Richarlisons or two kaboom Richarlisons. But I sent one to Graydon, and I got Gem Mint Ten on it, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about. I'll just put that up there for now. One. Right, Stuart Dallas, Leeds. Deli Ali for Spurs. Going to be interesting summer for him. Josh Anoma for Fulham. Harrison Reed for Fulham. Oh, nice. Only a base. But it's the price of... Um, you've got the price of the break. So there you go. Ian, a few nice Arsenal cards. I don't own any Kaboon. We might be able to do a trade, mate. We might be able to do a trade. I know we've got a um, few things on the go. Uh, so I've got a few things for you anyway. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not selling them. So they will, we'll carry on talking anyway. And if a, if a trade comes up, I'm sure we will um, transact. Put that. So that's uh, Bukaya Saka. There we go. Very nice. Come on, I hope we get auto in this. Chances of autos in this are one in two. So it, I think the case is a 20. So the, in the in a case, if we got a full case, we'd get 10 autos. Um. So, yeah, so there's, there's a chance we might get an auto. There's a chance we won't. There's a chance we could get a kaboom. There's a chance we won't. Uh, Raheem Sterling for Manchester City. Pierre-Emerick Hoiberg for Spurs. Atmosphere with no atmosphere. <laughs> Liverpool. Uh, Matt Target for Aston Villa. Ben Osborne of Sheffield United. Do you have any one of one? Richarlison's. No, the shortest Richarlison I have. Let me see if it's in my. I'll actually just look at my PC a little bit. So these are the ones I'm on about, mate. First and foremost. These ones. That was what I had. Um, the shortest with Charleston. The shortest with Charleston I've got is um, last year's Premier uh, EPL to 10. That's the shortest one I've got. I'd love to do the rainbow for last year's. Oh, anything. Um... Actually, only one I've got, and it was with Justin. I made a, I made a trade with Justin, or I bought something off Justin. It's a Carlos Backer uh, one of one, but that's my only one of one. I don't have any others. Alex Iwobi for Everton. And I, I, I literally only bought that because I didn't have, I've never, I've never got, I've never had a one of one. <laughs> oh, <gasps> I think we've got an auto. Right, I'm going to put this up there. I hope that's an auto. Oh, get in. Good luck, everyone, if you are in this. You could have an auto. Come on. Oh, we've got a silver. Harvey Barnes for Leicester. Mark Noble for West Ham. Oh! <gasps> Boom! Come on! Saka Silver! Well done, Ian. Well done. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That is going on the wall. Tim Remorter. <laughs> Silvers still sell very well. That is a very nice one to have. Well done, mate. Let's... Well, Mitchy can definitely go. Bye-bye. Okay, so you are, mate. <laughs> it is a very good one. Uh, that's a beaut. That's a beaut. I'm jealous of that one. 
And the Lacazette, to be fair. I love the Lacazette. Uh, Ian Paveda for Leeds. I, I love uh, the whole Arsenal collection in silvers. Um, Josh Brownall for Burnley. I do think I've got a sack of silver somewhere. Uh, I think I do. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Right. Not halfway through yet. Yeah, I think we've it's been pretty decent, these. Yeah. Fair enough. I might have to get another breakaway. Uh, all right, we've got... Or is that an auto? All right, let me make sure I keep this on screen. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I thought, I thought it was one of the Legends autos, and I was going to absolutely lose my mind. Ryan Fredericks for West Ham. Fabio Silva, that's his rookie, for Wolverhampton. Um, Ian Bednarak for Southampton. That's, I forgot what that's called. Isaac Hayden for Newcastle and Nathan Redmond for Southampton. Let me sleeve this one up. I hope no one's been on YouTube because I always forget to check if anyone's messaging on YouTube. I'm just on the Facebook page all the time. Um... And you got last spot as well, last spot mojo, they call it. And it was the actual last spot, it was spot 20, and the last one to get it, I think, was it? Or did you get spot 13? I could be absolutely wrong. Anyway, you've you've had a decent break. <laughs> say all that to say that. But I'm going to do a few more... Um, I'm going to do a few more breaks around. Well, I'm going to try and get it around this price point. Next one will probably be Bundesliga. Um, but it'll be random team. So it'll be Bundesliga, but it might be like, it's, it still could be like 40 quid. Uh, but this, it'll be for both boxes. Actually, I don't know if I'll do both. Boxes. I might do two boxes. I might do one box. But then you've got a chance at the, the Dortmund guys, uh, which if you look at some Break prices for, for Dortmund. They're absolutely shocking. Uh, Robin Cock for Leeds. Musa Sissoko for Tottenham. Ben Mee for Burnley, which is number two, one, three, uh, one, nine, five. What else we got? Joe Bryan for Fulham. And Danny Ceballos again for Arsenal. Last one. What is in the is your last break? Taking a break or last card? Did I miss a card? Or last what or last Danny Tobias? You don't want any more Danny Tobias. Which I don't blame you. Um Tommy uh, Tommy Tom Davies for Everton. Who cares about the Dortmund guys? Give me call. <laughs> Tariq Lamptey for uh, Brighton. John Lundstrom for Sheffield United. Oh, the last one. I was, I was saying it. I don't <laughs> see that's how quickly things go out of my mind here. Um, John Henderson for Liverpool and another Foden for Manchester City. Nice. That they're definitely paid for your break. How many? Are doing a full base set. Oh, great question. Anyone in the room doing a full base set? Good luck to you. To be fair, let me know actually, because I think I've got some. If anyone is, I've got um, some base cards lying around. Uh, Jao Matinho, Wolverhampton Wanderers, always happy to help. Uh, but don't come and say, oh, I need Mason Greenwood and Bukai Saka. Uh, I know them games. Uh, Fernandinho for Manchester City. Edison for Manchester City. Oh, that's has a horrible print line on it. Right, I don't know if that's breaking up. There's a horrible print line on that. My other PC, Mateus Pereira for West Brom. And Tony Marshall, base. Yes, I... Oh, Tony, hello, sir. Tony in the house. If you've uh, got anyone specific, Tony, that you need, let me know, mate. I know we've said over time that we've got a few trade to do. I just never seem to have time for anything. 
Um, but yeah, Wilfred Ndidi for Leicester. Never have time for anything. Thomas Suchek for West Ham. Martin Dubravka for Newcastle. Ah, oh, nice one, Stuart. Jamie Shackleton for Leeds. Robbie Brady for Burnley. Burnley. All right. Still, hopefully, that's an auto. Hopefully, this one is an auto. They have done me over before, and it's a backwards card. Uh, but it was just f f there was no reason why it was backwards. Absolutely no reason. I think Matt was in there. You know, I was fuming at that. Um, so, but hopefully this time it is an auto, which I'd be buzzing with. Uh, Giovanni Lacelso for Spurs. Dominic Calvert Lewin for Everton. He was my PC at one point. I still got quite a few of his cards actually. Uh, Trezeguet for Aston Villa. Maybe not PC, PC is probably not the right word. I was collecting because I thought it, it, um, or I still think he's going to do really well, but I ended up selling a few of his cards. Christian Pulisic for Chelsea. Oh, that reminds me, I've actually got a sale ending on Facebook. <laughs> on Facebook. I've got a sale ending on eBay. I've got about 100, 150 items. I'll put the link in on the main page after. So have a look. Have a gander. Ends tomorrow. James McCarthy for Crystal Palace. Yes, yeah, we will, Tony. I will reach out soon, mate. I'm oh god, we just last these last few months have been crazy. Um and I've I've not paid much attention to my personal collection at all. Uh, Leander Dendonka for Wolverhampton. Yeah, he was not <laughs> Are there any amounts on the sale? Um, are there any amounts on the sale? I've got a Pulisic booklet. I've got a Benchilwell to 25. I've got I sold. No, I sold my I sold the mount. Yeah, I sold the mount. But it was it was the mount I sold, it was crazy. It was like it went for like 225. It was just one of the sapphire ones. Uh, but it went for I mean, I wasn't I wasn't complaining, but I, I only expected about 50, well, I, I expected about 70, 80 quid for it, but it ended up going to like two, 200, 220, I think. Luke Ayling for Leeds. I think I had two of the Vardy Relic. Oh, did you? Oh, did you? Oh, nice one, Stuart. <laughs> well, we they covered over Reed. Full, well, I've, in this one, I've got um, actually, what I'd say is look for my next one because my next one, once I get round to it, um, it's going to be a sale where everything's starting at 99p. Um, it's going to have a load of stuff in there. Um, Domrus, Prism from last year, Prism from this year. Um, oh God, you this, yeah, there's just going to be, there's going to be loads of stuff. Uh, it's just getting it to do it because it's going to be like three, four, five hundred cards. Um, Amwar El Ghazi for Aston Villa, and it's just when I can be around to do it. I will do it in like the next two to three weeks. Oliver McBurney for Sheffield United. So I'll and I'll make sure to put a link in there because that's going to be people are going to get some absolute bargains in there. But I need to try and I need to, I need to shift the cards, and that's, <laughs> that's the only way I can think of shifting a mass cards is is doing an auction. Um, I've literally got thousands. Uh, well, yeah, mm, maybe not thousands. Few thousand. Oh, that sounds. <laughs> oh, is that a? Teal. Hmm, interesting. Can't fucking give my spare. <laughs> oh, the yozzles, yeah. No, mate. I did. You know what? I did. And the thing is, because um, I've done it. I've, I've been doing it a new way now. Like usually, if I was doing it, uh, I got a label printer before. I didn't have a label printer, so I knew. I kind of remembered everyone's address. But with this label printer, it's 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 just so easy. So it's just stick and stick and go, stick and go, stick and go. 
Um, so no, I didn't even clock. Absolutely didn't clock. Roman says for Wolverhampton. Teal is 49, right. I think I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, is it lime green, which is to five? Lime green's to five, is it? Um, it well, actually, 49 is still good. Super short print. Ilke Gundogan for Manchester City. Who we got? All right. It looks like this is actually Manchester City. Manchester City. Who's got Manchester City? Oh, Stuart's Stuart got Manchester City. Right. Kerry Kid. Oh, Kerry, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember the name now. Why didn't it click? Okay. Anyway, uh, Manchester City. Come on, let's have someone good. Edison. Eh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if you, what you think about that. He's a player. 46 of 49. Well done. Oh, that's definitely getting on the wall. I'm a fan of Edison. I think he's... People will argue with me, and I will accept an argument. But I think he's the best keeper in the Premiership. I think. I think under pressure he's good. His kicking is obviously phenomenal. Good shot stopper. Uh, he's just all round games good. So yeah. I've, Put it this way, I prefer him definitely to Allison. Oh, still got some here. Eh? Uh, Conor Geller again, rookie card, and Bruno Fernandes. First time we've seen him for Manchester United. For if may, I'd have lost my shit if that was a folding. <laughs> I'd absolutely gone crazy if that was a folding. To forty nine. Oh my god. All right, got anything here? A strange insert. Don't know what that is. Uh, Harry Winks for Tottenham. Alan for Everton. Oh, it was a scorers club. Okay, I think it was. Yeah, scorers scorers club. Sebastian Haller. Kepa has watched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair fair play, uh, Sebas. Fair play. Ray Fraser, he does. Um, Dale Stevens, you see how you see see how animated he was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, fair play to him. Um, he was a part. It was a part of it. <laughs> yeah, he does have. He does have more Champions League titles. Uh, right. Oh, you just reminded me of Kevin De Bruyne. I feel so sorry for Kevin De Bruyne. Um, Abdullah Decore for Everton. Ben White for Brighton. Again, we've got this emerging before. I think this is... I don't know if it was the same colour. Fikori Tamori for Chelsea. Hakim Ziyech for Chelsea. And Sheikou Sheikou Kiyote for Crystal Palace. Last two packs, and then fingers crossed for an auto. Come on! Oh, actually, I've, I've, I've done a few prism, and I've, I don't think I've pulled one good auto yet. I, I've, I've pulled about well, I've pulled a Billy Sharp. I've probably pulled any Burnley. Who else? I don't think I pulled a good up. No, I don't think I have. Um, David, Pro I'm not. I'm not broken loads of this stuff though. Anyway, um, but still, uh, David Proper for Brighton. It's been a nice little fun break, isn't it? Uh, Dennis Pratt for Leicester. A few nice cards. Uh, Vitinha for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Sami Ajayi for West Brom, and Paul Pogba. For Manchester United. Right. Last pack. Well, yeah, last, last pack and then hopefully an auto. James Madison for Leicester. Ethan Diop for West Ham. 
No. Double easy deal. There you go. I thought that was, tri thought that was triple easy deal, wasn't it? Uh, Courtney House for Aston Villa. I talked twice. Kyle Walker for Manchester City. Who's got Chelsea? Ryan, Ryan James. I don't know if he's still in the chat. What is good old Ryan? Uh, East Basuma. Oh, if if he comes to Arsenal, I'm definitely, definitely 1000% starting a East Basuma. Um, oh, East Basuma uh, personal collection PC. I'm going to go backwards. Riyad Mahrez for Manchester City. It's not going to be an auto, is it? It's going to do me over again. Jorginho Wijnaldum for Liverpool. Oh, no, I felt the, I felt the sticker. I felt the sticker. It is an, it is an auto. <gasps> Come on. Is that Arsenal? It's red. Oh, come on. There you go. Liverpool, that's good. That's Stuart. Get in. Come on. Oh, nice. Happy with that, mate. Oh, wow. To 50 as well. Boom. 42 of 50. Nice. That's really nice, mate. Let me see. I'm just I'm not even looking at the screen. Let me just see if it if it's popping right, because this looks amazing in hand. This looks absolutely amazing. The light's not doing it justice, mate. Um well, that's it. Night, night, James. Um, catch up with you. Uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Straight off his hell, bad memories. Ah, <laughs> fair enough. Yes, but well, that is a really nice card, mate. Well done. Forty-two and fifty. If you are wanting to put it straight up, mate, um, I'll send you some pictures tomorrow. And then, if you need me to send it, if you want me to keep it, and then just send it. You know, wherever I'll, I'm, I'm happy to do that, mate. So, just let me know. Oh, nice one! Oh, finally a decent oh. Like I'm not a major Owen fan, but this is a nice pull. I can go dead center. Well done. Don't do he will. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, just let me know what you want. Um, want to do with it, mate? And I'll get you some pictures. Uh, right. So that's the break. Yeah, it was a nice one. That. Um, Actually, like I said, I prefer it to, to you know, the, I do, I, I like Impeccable. I, me personally, I like Impeccable and I like Immaculate in terms of what I collect and in terms of the breaks I go into. Uh, but when I'm breaking, when I'm breaking, I prefer to have more variety. Um, so today, today was nice. Today was nice. I'm happy with today's break. I'll try, I might put one up tomorrow. Uh, a cheapy. I might do like an MLS one tomorrow. It'll only be like eight quid a spot or something. Um, if I can work something else into it, I might do MLS and maybe a few more of these uh, boxes to and keep it just like 12, 13 quid or something. Uh, but I'll, if <laughs> that's that, yeah, like I said, that's if I'm not growing a third arm uh, from this AstraZeneca jab. Um, second one, I'm fully vaccinated now. Uh, Fabio Silva for Wolverhampton, just as a recap. Michi Bachwai for Crystal Palace, 17 of 99. Um, Bukaya Saka, base. 
they need to sleep up the base now. Now that we've got a silver, well done, Ian. Um, Antonio Rudiger, Chelsea, uh, blue pulsar, which I think is really nice. Uh, Niskin Cabano for Fulham. I don't know why I put that. Oh, silver. He was a silver, that's why. Yep, sure, pal. Um, if I can, actually, no, I'm gonna. I'll, if I can get good enough pictures now, I'll try it now. Uh, Marcus Rashford. I don't think this was numbered. It was just blue pulsar. Very nice. Same with anyone else in the break. If you want any pictures, uh, just shoot me a message, and uh, I'll, I can do. I'll do it today, tomorrow, as long as I feel all right. Um, Teal to forty nine. Very nice, Edison. Uh, yeah, for this, even though it's a super short print, to 25 copper, bronze, whatever you want to call it, 23 to 25 for James Rodriguez, James Rodriguez, Bukaya Saka, uh, Bukaya Saka for Arsenal. This is, I love this card. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Ian. That's a nice one. And I'm glad some of some other people got good cards as well. There's a few in the break. Uh, and then, obviously, definitely the pick of the break. Uh, Michael Owen, all on, almost all on um, on sticker. Just a little, gone a little bit off there. It's a really nice auto, to be fair. First time I've actually seen Owen's auto. Oh, yeah, actually. Thinking about it, first time I've seen Owen's auto. Nice. 42 of 50. This autograph is guaranteed. Well done, mate. That's a big one, that. Don't know how much he goes for. Don't know what he sells for. Um, I know most Liverpool fans aren't the, his biggest supporter. Um, definitely pay for your break, though. <laughs> definitely. Play. And you got a few foldings as well. So, well done. Right. That is it. I got. I had some good hits. Here. And some foldings. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is it, everyone. Thank you again. Thank you, everyone, for, for the break. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me today, this evening. Uh, like I said, I may be back tomorrow with a break. It'll, if I am, it'll just be a little one. Uh, like I said, a MLS or um, MLS and some of the, some of these or something like that. Some big ones we'll save for next week. So I'll I'm going to do something where it's front of the line. Maybe a hobby. It'll be a big one, so it'll be like hundred quid per spot. But there'll be loads of autographs in there. There'll be um, a lot of cards, a lot of rare cards that we could hit potential. And um, so it'll be a real good cards. But again, I'm also always going to mix it up. So we'll do some low end ones. We'll do some high end ones. Whatever you can do. At some point, I will be breaking the impeccable again. Show you guys. Breaking the impeccable again, and at one stage, we will also. I've got these, I've actually got nine of these some match attack Bundesliga chrome, a few decent autographs in it, a lot of cards. So, we might have a, just a massive break of this. 20, 25 quid a spot or something like that and break seven, eight of them. Um, so I'll be prepared for that one. Obviously, I have to do that one on a weekend. So that is everything. Thank you very much. Everyone needs anything, give me a message. Hope you all have a lovely evening. Well, rest of the night. <laughs> Can't say evening. What time is it? Oh, no time. Is... Um, have, a, have a great night. Uh, have a great Sunday. And... Uh, if I'm, uh, I could be back tomorrow. So yeah, I will. I will uh, leave you all with it, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks again for the break, guys. See you later.